CNN projects that Bernie Sanders, the independent senator from Vermont, uh, the incumbent, he will be reelected. Remember, he caucuses with the Democrats, a win for the Democrats. In Virginia, Tim Kaine, the incumbent Democrat, uh, CNN projects, he will get another six years in the United States Senate. Uh, Tim Kaine, the winner in Virginia. Our first House projection right now, CNN projects that Jennifer Wexton, the Democratic challenger, in Virginia, northern Virginia suburb of Washington, D.C., Jennifer Wexton will become the next U.S. representative from Virginia in that district. She beats the incumbent Republican Barbara Comstock. We could project that Elizabeth Warren, the incumbent Democrat, she will be reelected to the United States uh, Senate for another six years. Sherrod Brown in Ohio reelected the incumbent Democrat. In Connecticut, Chris Murphy, the incumbent Democrat, reelected. In Maryland, Ben Cardin, the incumbent Democrat, reelected. In Delaware, Tom Carper, uh, the Democrat incumbent, uh, reelected. And Sheldon Whitehouse in Rhode Island, reelected. In Pennsylvania, CNN projects that the winner of this race, Tom Wolf, who of course is the incumbent governor, he hangs on, wins re-election, defeating Scott Wagner, the Republican in this race. We'll go to Massachusetts. CNN projects that the winner there is Charlie Baker, also the incumbent there, the Republican, defeating Jay Gonzalez for a second term. So two holds, one for Democrats and one for Republicans. Another pickup for the Democrats, uh, CNN projects that Donna Shalala will be the next representative from the uh, uh, from Florida in uh, the House 27th District, uh, defeating Maria Elvira Salazar. That's right, Dana. CNN projects that in Tennessee, the winner of that race is Bill Lee. This was an open seat. He wins this rate de de race, defeating Carl Dean, who was the Democrat in that race. We can move on to another projection in Arkansas. CNN projects that the winner of that race is the incumbent, Asa Hutchinson, who defeated Jared Henderson in this race uh, down in Arkansas. In Rhode Island, CNN projects that the winner of that race, Gina Raimondo, she is the incumbent governor there. She defeats Alan Fung in that race. All right, CNN projects that Bob Casey, the incumbent Democratic senator in Pennsylvania, will be reelected uh, for another six years. Similarly, in Minnesota, Amy Klobuchar reelected for another six years. Amy Klobuchar wins in Minnesota. In New York State, Kirsten Gillibrand, she gets reelected. She's the incumbent Democrat. Similarly, in New Mexico, Martin Heinrich, uh, he will be reelected uh, in uh, New Mexico for another six years. That's right, Dana. We can make two projections at this point. We'll start in New York. York. CNN projects that the winner of that race is Andrew Cuomo, the incumbent, of course, going now for his third term, defeating Mark Mal Molinero in New York. And we'll move on to another race in Texas, closely watched race. CNN projects that the winner of that race is Greg Abbott. Again, he's the incumbent going for a second term, defeating Lupe Valdez in Texas. We got a projection in the House of Representatives, two holes for the Republicans in Kentucky. The 6th District, uh, the winner of the incumbent representative, Andy Barr, he's the Republican. We had been watching this race very closely. He was challenged by Amy McGrath. Uh, Andy Barr re-elected in, in the Lexington, Kentucky area. Uh, Andy Barr, the incumbent Republican, gets re-elected. In Florida, Ross Bano, uh, the winner, the Republican, he beats uh, Kristen Carlson. Uh, this is uh, along the I-4 corridor. Ross Bano gets uh, elected in Florida. That's right, Wolf. A major project projection, West Virginia, CNN can project that the incumbent Democrat, Joe Manchin, will go on for another term. We sure do, Wolf. The state of Tennessee, CNN can project that Marsha Blackburn, the Republican candidate, will keep this open Republican seat in GOP hands. Not only that, Marsha Blackburn will be the first female senator to represent the state of Tennessee. Two big projections in the U.S. Senate, starting with Indiana. This is big because this is a Republican pickup. CNN is projecting that Mike Braun is going to be the next senator from Indiana, beating the incumbent Democrat, Joe Donnelly. And in Wisconsin, the Democrat is going to go on for another term. CNN is projecting that Tammy Baldwin has won her race in Wisconsin. So two big projections, especially in Indiana. And Democrats uh, pick up two seats, two important seats in Pennsylvania, the Mary Gay Scanlon. Uh, she picks up this district in the Philadelphia suburbs. She defeats Pearl K And Connor Lamb, we all remember him from the special election in western Pennsylvania in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. Connor Lamb uh, gets uh, reelected in that district. A projection in the Garden State, Wolf. CNN can project that Democratic Senator Bob Menendez will go on for another term 
in the state of New Jersey. In Illinois, CNN projects that the winner of that race is J.B. Pritzker, defeating Bruce Rauner in that race. This is a pickup for Democrats, a very, very expensive race. Democrats out ahead in that race. In Oklahoma, CNN projects that the winner of that race is Kevin Stitt, the Republican defeating Drew Edmondson in that governor's race. Another projection CNN can make in Alabama, Kay Ivey, CNN projects the incumbent uh, defeating Walt Mannix in this race, going for her first full term in Alabama. In South Carolina, another CNN projection, Henry McMaster, CNN projects the winner in that race, defeating James Smith. Sixth District in Colorado, CNN now projects that Jason Crow uh, will defeat the Republican Congressman Mike Kaufman. Uh, Jason Crow, a former U.S. Army Ranger, this is a pickup for the Democrats in the state of Colorado. In Michigan, uh, Michigan 11, uh, House District 11, Haley Stevens. The Democrat, uh, she will defeat Lena Epstein. She used to work in the Obama administration on the auto bailout in Michigan. Haley Stevens will become the uh, Democratic representative from Michigan. In New Jersey, the Democratic candidate, Mikey Sherrill, uh, is the uh, winner. She defeats uh, Jay Weber. She's a former U.S. Navy helicopter pilot. Mikey Sherrill uh, gets the win. It's a pickup for the Democrats in New Jersey. Similarly, in Florida, Debbie McCarcel Powell defeats the Republican incumbent Carlos Corbello uh, in that district. Uh, she, she really went after uh, Carlos Corbello on Obamacare and other issues. CNN now projects House 26 in Florida. She is the winner. All right, we got a projection right now in the U.S. Senate. Mitt Romney, uh, he will be the next United States senator from the state of Utah. He beats Jenny Wilson. Mitt Romney, the former Republican presidential nominee, the former governor of Massachusetts, he will be the next U.S. senator from Utah. Big, big projection wolf in Kansas. CNN can project that the winner of that governor's race is Laura Kelly, defeating Chris Kobach, who, of course, was the handpicked candidate of Donald Trump in that primary. He goes down tonight. This is a pickup for Democrats in a Midwestern state. Again, the winner there, Laura Kelly. In Colorado, another projection CNN can make. Jared Polis defeats Walker Stapleton in this race. History being made here tonight by Jared Polis. He is now the first openly gay man to be elected to lead a state in the nation. And CNN uh, pro uh, projects that Sharice Davids uh, will win in Kansas. She's the Democratic candidate. Uh, she defeats Kevin Yoder. She's a former martial arts fighter. Uh, Sharice Davids will be the next representative from Kansas. Uh, and she's... Uh, she, one of the first Native American uh, women in co that will be in the United States Congress. Let's go to Pennsylvania right now. Chrissy Houlihan, she will, uh, she, she's a U.S. Air Force veteran. She's the, the winner in the 6th District of Pennsylvania. She defeats Greg McCauley. Let's go to Minnesota right now. Dean Phillips, another Democrat, a liquor heir. Uh, he will defeat Eric Paulson. Uh, he will be the next representative from the 3rd District in Minnesota. And in New York, Max Rose defeats Dan Donovan. Uh, this is a Staten Island district, but Max Rose, the Democrat, will be the next representative from uh, New York. That's right. Well, three projections. Let's start with Nebraska. CNN can project that Deb Fisher, the Republican senator, will go on for another term to serve the people of Nebraska. Now let's go on to Wyoming. CNN can project that John Barrasso, the incumbent Republican, will also go on for another term in Wyoming. And also, let's go to Mississippi. Roger Wicker, the incumbent Republican, again, will get another term in Mississippi. That's right, Wolf. A big pickup for Republicans in the state of North Dakota. CNN can project that Kevin Kramer, the Republican candidate, who's now the Republican at-large congressman, will move over and be the U.S. senator, defeating incumbent Heidi Heitkamp, who People on both sides of the aisle have seen as the most endangered Democrat. Now CNN is projecting that she is lost and it is going to go into Republican hands. And CNN projects that Republicans will maintain control of the United States Senate. This is an important win for President Trump and for the Republican Party. Democrats went into the night knowing their chances of reclaiming a Senate majority were slim. Once again, CNN projects Republicans are holding on to control of the United States Senate. And let's tell you why we have, are ready to make this projection. Look at this, CNN projects in tennis. Senator Ted Cruz, the incumbent Republican, will beat the Democrat, Beto O'Rourke. Ted Cruz will remain in the Senate for another six years. Here's the balance of power, where it stands with the Cruz victory in Texas. 38 Democrats, 
50 Republicans, two pickups for the Republicans. 12 seats remain outstanding right now. Remember, in the Senate, the Republicans only need 50 to have the majority because the Vice President, Mike Pence, is the President of the Senate. He will break a tie. The Republicans maintain the majority in the United States Senate. CNN projects Susan Wilde is the Democratic winner in the 7th in the seventh District in Pennsylvania. That's a, a big win for the Democrats in Pennsylvania, Lehigh Valley uh, in Pennsylvania. She's an attorney in Texas. Look at this. Pete Sessions goes down to defeat uh, Colin Allred. Uh, he's a former NFL player who decided he wanted to be a member of the United States Congress. He will be the winner in Texas, uh, House 32. In Virginia, Elaine Luria, she defeats Scott Taylor, the incumbent Republican. She's a retired Navy commander herself. She will be the next representative from the 2nd District in Virginia. That's a huge win for the Democrats in the uh, Commonwealth uh, of Virginia. In Pennsylvania, there is a Republican pickup there. A guy, uh, Reschenthaler, uh, he defeats uh, Bibiana Borio. Uh, this is a big win uh, for the Republicans in Pennsylvania. It's a pickup. It's a pickup for the Republicans in Pennsylvania. In Illinois, House 6, Sean Caston is the winner, defeating the longtime Republican incumbent Peter Roskam. Uh, Sean Caston, a big, uh, big supporter of clean energy. Uh, he is going to be the next U.S. representative from Illinois. In Arizona, another pickup. For the Democrats and Kirkpatrick, she is the winner in House 2. Betsy Londrigan, uh, she is uh, going to be the next representative. Uh, House uh, 13, the 13th District in Illinois, she defeats uh, Rodney Davis. CNN projects that Anthony Brindisi uh, will be the next U.S. representative from that district in New York. That's another Democratic pickup uh, in the in New York State, uh, he defeats Claudia Tenney. Uh, another pickup uh, in, uh, in New York State, Anthony Delgado. Uh, he, he, he will be the next representative from that district. That's the 19th district. Anthony Delgado, a former Rhodes Scholar, uh, he will be the next representative from New York State. Uh, that's another big, big uh, pickup for the Democrats. Big projection wolf in Florida. A contest we've been watching all night. CNN projects that the winner is Ron DeSantis defeating Andrew Gillum tonight in that very closely watched race. Ron DeSantis, CNN projects, is the winner. And CNN projects that Democrats will reclaim control of the U.S. House of Representatives winning new power to take on the President of the United States. This is a very significant defeat for Mr. Trump, a historic accomplishment for the Democrats. Even though some House races remain undecided, CNN can now make this projection with a very high degree of confidence based on statistical models that track races that Democrats already have won and analyze the races where they're leading significantly right now. Again, CNN can now project that Democrats will win the majority in the U.S. House of Representatives. That's right. A bunch of projections that CNN can make at this point in Michigan. We can project that Gretchen Whitmer uh, wins that race, defeating Bill Schuette. This is a pickup for Democrats in Michigan, in California. CNN can project that the winner there is Gavin Newsom defeating John Cox in that race. Also in Hawaii, CNN projects that the winner there is David Ige. He is the incumbent. He holds on to his job in Hawaii. And another uh, projection that CNN can make at this point will go to Republicans now in Ohio. This is a big, big win for Republicans. CNN projects that the winner of that race is Mike DeWine, defeating Richard Cordray. Uh, Donald Trump, of course, went to that state in the waning days in Arizona. CNN can project that the winner there is Doug Ducey, the incumbent there. He defeats David Garcia. Also, another projection that CNN can make now in Maryland, the governor's race there, the incumbent Larry Hogan, CNN projects going on for a second term, defeating the former NAACP president, Ben Jealous. In Nebraska, CNN can project that the winner in that race, the incumbent Pete Ricketts, holding on to his job there, defeating Bob Christ. And let's go now to more projections in Vermont. CNN projecting here that the incumbent Phil Scott also hanging on to his job, defeating Christine Halquist. More projections from CNN. Wyoming, CNN projects that the winner of that governor's race is Mark Gordon, defeating Mary Throne. That's right. Well, four projections, four Democratic women going back to the U.S. Senate. Let's start with California. CNN can project that Dianne Feinstein will go back for another term in the U.S. Senate. Now let's go to Hawaii, Maisie Hirono will also, CNN can project, go on 
for another term in the U.S. Senate. And Minnesota, this is a special election. Tina Smith was appointed. Now she will go and uh, have, fill out the rest of Al Franken's term. Washington State, Maria Cantwell, CNN can project, will get another term as well. In the Senate, we can project that Republican challenger, Josh Hawley, will go on to be the next senator of Missouri. He is 38 years old. He will be the youngest senator. Uh, and he is beating the Democratic incumbent, Claire McCaskill, who I was out in Missouri. She was saying that she is going to do it again. She's going to beat the odds. But she didn't. Instead, she called Josh Hawley and conceded a short while ago. So that's a big win for Republicans, a big win for the president who who campaigned hard there. Let's go now to Michigan. Debbie Stabenow, CNN can project that she is going to go on to win another term. Democrat Debbie Stabenow is keeping Michigan in Democratic hands. That's right, Wolf. We can start in Iowa. The winner CNN projects here is Kim Reynolds. She, of course, is the incumbent, now winning a first full term, defeating Fred Hubble in that Midwestern state. In Idaho, CNN projects that the winner in that race is Brad Little, defeating Paulette Jordan in Idaho. We can move on now to some other projections for Democrats. In New Mexico, CNN projects that the winner in that race is Michelle Luan Grisham, defeating Steve Pierce. This is a pickup for Democrats at this point, so some good news for, for Democrats in, in that state, in New Mexico. In, in Minnesota, CNN can project that the winner in this governor's race is Tim Waltz, defeating Jeff Johnson. And another projection that CNN can make, the winner in Oregon's governor's race is Kate Brown defeating Newt Bueller there in Oregon.